Saints and welcome back to FFT, Food for Thought Ministries, where we move with purpose in our walk with Christ over here. <laughs> this is our Thursday night Bible study where we are going through the battlefield of the mind with Joyce Myers. This is a very, very short lesson and it is entitled Mind Binding Spirits, which we are doing over here today. Hallelujah. <laughs> Uh, this is chapter six hallelujah it's very short like i stated before so we will be reading the whole lesson and we are going to pray us in and then we are going to get started so hopefully you have the book so with that being said we're going to go ahead and pray in father god we yes. glorify you we exalt you on today father god we ask for forgiveness lord god for all of our sins known and unknown we ask right now father god for you to bless this lesson father god we ask right now lord god for you to just ooh, regulate our minds lord god we ask for you to pull down any strongholds right now lord god dealing with our minds with this mind binding spirits we ask right now lord god for you to open up our ears so that we can hear open up our eyes so that we can see we ask right now lord god for you to descend upon us right now your divine spirit of wisdom, understanding, clarity, revelation, and discernment. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Have your way in the mighty and matchless name of Yeshua HaMashiach. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Glory be to God. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are going to be reading through the lesson. Like I stated, this is chapter six, and it is entitled Mind Binding Spirit. And our foundational text starts with Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7 and this is the kjv and it states be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto god and the peace of god which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through christ jesus and it opens with I once reached a place in my walk with God where I was having a hard time believing certain things that I had previously believed. I didn't understand what was wrong with me. And as I and as a result, I got confused. The longer the what is this word? Predicament. The longer the predicament went on, the more confused I became. The unbelief seemed to be growing by leaps and bounds. I began to question my call. I thought I was losing the vision God had given me for the ministry. I was miserable. Unbelief always produced misery. My mind was sluggish and I felt as if I could not believe God no matter how hard I tried. Amen. 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 Two days in a row, I heard this phrase coming up out of my spirit, mind-binding spirits. The first day, I didn't think much about it. However, the second day, as I began a time of intercession, I heard it again for about the fourth or fifth time, mind-binding spirits. Although I was unfamiliar with that phrase, it made sense considering how I felt mentally. I knew from all the people to whom I had ministered that multitudes of believers have trouble with their minds. I thought the Holy Spirit was leading me to pray for the body of Christ against a spirit called mind binding. So I began to pray and come against mind binding spirits in Jesus' name. After only a couple of minutes of praying, I felt a tremendous deliverance come to my own mind. It was quite dramatic. The thought of evil spirits lurking around is rather creepy, but they exist. Jesus called demons by name and commanded them to leave. Amen. Amen. Okay, delivered from mind-binding spirits. Nearly every deliverance God has brought to me has been progressive and has come about by believing and confessing the word of God. John chapter 8, verse 31 and 32. 
and Psalms 107 verse 20 are my testimony. In John 8, 31, 32, Jesus says, if you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Psalms 107, 20 says of the Lord, he sends forth his word and heals them and rescues them from the pit and destruction. But this time I felt knew immediately that something had happened in my mind. Within minutes, I was able to believe again in areas I had been struggling with just prior to my time of prayer. I'll give you an example. Before being attacked by the mind-binding evil spirits, I believe that according to the word of God, the fact that I was a woman from Fenton, Missouri, whom no one knew wouldn't make any difference in my life or ministry. Galatians 3, verse 28. When God was ready, he would open doors that no one could close. See, what is that? See Revelations 3 and 8. And I would preach all over the world the practical, liberating, messages he had given me amen amen. I, amen I believe I would have the privilege of sharing the gospel throughout the nation by radio and eventually by television not because of me but in spite of me I knew that according to the scriptures God chose weak and foolish things to confound the wise see first Corinthians 1 verse 27 I believe that the Lord was going to use me to heal the sick I believe that our children will be used in ministry. I believe all sorts of wonderful things that God had placed in my heart. Most of them seem foolish to reason or mental understanding. But God put them in my heart and gave me supernatural faith to believe what in the, what in the natural was unbelievable. However, when the evil spirits attacked me, I couldn't seem to believe much of anything. I thought things like, well, I probably just made all that up. I just believed it because I wanted to, but probably won't ever, but it probably won't ever happen. But when the spirits left, the ability to believe came rushing back. The experience clarified me even more than before, just how aggressively the devil comes against our mind. He knows if he can control our thoughts that he can control our life. Pay attention to the condition of your mind and keep it free, peaceful, and full of faith. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Decide to believe. And our scripture is Romans 8 and verse 26. So to the Holy Spirit comes to our aid and bears us up in our weakness. For we do not know what prayer to offer, nor how to offer it worthily as we ought. But the Spirit himself goes to meet our supplication and pleads in our behalf with unspeakable yearnings and groanings too deep for utterance. As Christians, we need to learn to decide to believe. God often gives us faith, a product of the spirit, for things that our minds just can't always seem to come into agreement with. The mind wants to understand everything, the why, the when, and the how of it all. Often, when that understanding is not given by God, the mind refuses to believe what it cannot understand. It frequently happens that a believer knows something in his heart, his inner man, but his mind wars against it. I had decided long before to believe what the word says and to believe the rhema, the revealed word that God gave me, the things he spoke to me or the promises he gave me personally. Even if I didn't understand why, when, and how it would come to pass in my life. As children of God, one of the privileges we have is believing the impossible. But this thing I had been battling was different. It was beyond decision. I was bound by these mind-binding spirits and just couldn't bring myself to believe. Thank God that the Holy Spirit, he showed me how to pray and his, and his power prevailed. I'm sure that you are reading this book right now because you were led to it. You too many have, you too many may have, you too many may be having problems in this area. If so, I encourage you to pray in Jesus' name. 
by the power of the blood, come against all evil spirits that hinder godly thoughts. If you feel your mind is sluggish, lazy, and unable to believe, then speak against mind-binding spirits. Pray this way, not just one time, but any time you experience difficulty in this area. The devil never runs out of fiery darts to throw against us when we are trying to go forward. Lift up your shield of faith and remember James chapter 1, verses 2 through 8, which teaches us that we can ask God for wisdom and trials, and he will give it to us and show us what to do. I had a problem, a fiery dart I had not encountered before, but God showed me how to pray, and I was set free, and you will be too. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And that will conclude the reading of chapter 6. So now we will move on to our discussion questions. Amen. And so our first question of the day is, um, it tells us to read Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7. And the question says, how can we experience the peace of God? And I just wrote, um, by, being, by being anxious for nothing, bringing every in, in prayer and petition to God with thanksgiving, knowing that he is in control, keeping him in the loop, and acknowledging him in everything. Amen. 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 Oh, how can we experience the peace of God? And I said, fret not. Don't be troubled. Do not worry. Pray. Make petitions. Praise the Lord, worship the Lord, and let God know your concerns. Amen. 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 Okay. How can we experience the peace of God? And I said, let him know what we need through prayer. And our hearts will be, what did I write? Oh, and our hearts will be guarded. Let God control your will. Know his peace and help. Know all is coming together. Trust in God. Worry no more and experience his love for us. Amen. 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 Okay. My answer is all over the place. Amen. My, um, how can we experience the peace of God? I said to be careful for nothing but everything by praying and giving thanks and giving thanks and to let God know oh and to know glory be to God amen <laughs> amen. Amen. amen hallelujah amen how can we experience the peace of God letting your request be made known God has given us everything that pertains to life and godliness we must believe this and walk it out and speak it. Amen. 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 And I said, through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving to God, who shall keep my heart and my mind through Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Come on, Frankie. Yeah. Yes, indeed. What time is it? Jesus. Number two. We only got three questions, y'all. We on number two. Number two, number two says, read John 8, verses 3, I mean, verses 31 and 32 in Psalms 107, verse 20. It says, how can we overcome mind-binding spirits? I said, by keeping my mind stayed on Jesus, abiding in his word, knowing the truth, so I won't believe the lie. Amen. 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 Okay, so how can we overcome mind-bending spirits? I say use the ABCs, abiding, believing, and confessing. So we're to abide in the word, which is when we abide in God, believing in the word of God, which is when we believe in God, and then confessing the word of God. So we are to confess to God. Amen. Amen. Hey, man, I like that ABC. Man. I'm going to have to ABC. steal that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Come on, Sister D. A, B, C. A, B, C, yeah. I believe and confess. Come on. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Uh, how can we overcome mind-binding spirits to pray in Jesus' name? The truth will set us free. Pray about the spirit of your mind and not of the world. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. Ah, answer. Okay. Amen. My answer is how can we overcome the mind biting spirit? I said by ABC, one, two, three, set you free. Amen. By believing <laughs> and confessing the words of God, and the truth will set you free. He says, He sends His words and heal and rescue them from. The pits of hell, amen. Come on, man. okay, mom. All right, yeah. good, uh, amen. Mm -hmm. amen. Beautiful, amen. How can we overcome mind binding spirits? Continuing in the word, speak it into existence. What you want, you will have what you say, amen. Amen, amen. yes. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, by believing and confessing in the word of God and abiding in his word. Amen. 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 All right. Did anybody know what the book said? <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. Look, hilarious. <laughs> Look, hilarious. Dude, if anybody got the book that's doing the channel, put the, put the book ass in the comments for us, please, because we don't know. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Anybody, somebody. Okay, amen. Just say comment from the book. Answer from the book in the comments. All right. Oh, it had some of all what we said. It do? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Oh, all right. Okay, number three. This is our last question of the night. It is a, it's a and a B, so we got two-part question. It says, as Christians, why must we decide to believe? That's the first part of our part A, and it says, how can we, wait, oh, how can we believe during times when our minds don't understand everything? So I said, what did I see? It says, as questions, as Christians, why must we decide to believe? I don't even know how, I, I'm just going to read what I wrote. I said, we don't have to understand the I said, we don't have to understand. The Holy Spirit will intercede on our behalf because he knows our hearts. When our minds are weak, um, um, what is this? When our minds are weak, ooh, I don't know what I wrote. When our minds are weak, something we don't have, oh, well, we don't, we, when our minds are weak, something we don't have, when we don't have the words. Ooh, I don't know. I'm doing, I get it from my mama. Okay. Amen. The Lord understands. He knows what you're trying to say. Amen. Yeah, he knows Ooh. your heart. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's my answer. <laughs> I don't know. It's written all. I don't know what happened. Amen. God knows what happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, and so I'm going to fumble a little bit myself, but as Christians, why must we decide to believe? And I put that the mind has a tendency to want to be left alone on its own recognizance, especially if it doesn't quite understand, get it, doesn't get it. So it's, it's like, okay, I'm going to do it my way type of thing. And so then it says, then how can we believe during times when our minds don't understand everything? And I said that, well, first of all, I said th that was the weakness uh, by us doing it on our own. But so rather than doing that, it's better to decide to believe on Holy Spirit. But there's more than that is needful even in that we're to get a revelation in all this. And in fact, the writer here says to believe the rhema, R-H-E-M-A, uh, which is the revealed word of God. And God is the one who gave and the God is the one who gives. So we're to continue to pray and being led by, by the Holy Spirit and let God in his power prevail 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Okay. As Christians, why must we decide to believe? How can we believe during times when our mind don't understand everything? And I put, to know the understandings of the heart, believe God's word. Even if you don't always understand, it will come to pass. Nothing is impossible. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Okay. And my answer is, um, as Christ, we must decide to believe. How can we believe during times when our minds don't understand everything? My answer is, because God gave us faith, a product of the Spirit, and number B, as a child of God, first know one privilege that we have is to believe in the impossible. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Impossible. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Cause so I guess we all just kind of, yeah, did our own little thing. Okay. <laughs> as, as Christians, we must decide as Christians, why was, must we decide to believe? How can we believe during times when our minds don't understand everything? And I said, speak the word, doubt your doubts. If God said it, then it's final and already done. Amen. 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 Indeed. Yes. Amen. Amen. Um, as Christians, why must we decide to believe? And I said, for our hope, expectations for what is possible so that we can have answers to things that don't seem possible or not understandable. And then I said, how can we believe during times when our minds don't understand everything? I said, I can believe through prayer and supplication to Jesus Christ and know that by his blood, I am set free from destruction. I can do all things and I add it possible through Jesus Christ, which strengthens me. Amen. 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 Yes. Indeed, indeed. Hallelujah. Yes. All right. Glory be to God. Okay, so the last question of the night says, what should we do when we are going through? I mean, well, yeah, I do say that, but not really. It says, what should we do when we are going through trials? But it pretty much said that. Yeah. So I said we should trust God and lean not unto our own understanding. Count it all joy. And use our shield of faith to block the fiery darts. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 <laughs> okay. So what should we do when we are going through trials? I said, continue and do not stop to lift up the name of Jesus. Allow God to be mighty in your circumstances. As for wisdom, as you trek through the book of James. Uh, James's letter in the New Testament, uh, pray a prayer of victory to God and remember to ask for the wisdom and faith and do not doubt. Amen. 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 That part right there. Amen. Amen. Mm. Yes. No doubting. Mm -hmm. Okay. What should we do when we are going through trials? And I said, ask for wisdom and be shown what to do and then trust and believe always. Amen. 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 Easier said than done. That's yes. right. Amen. Amen. Okay. Um, what should we do when we are going through trials? My answer is, I says, pray in Jesus' name by the power of the blood, come against all evil spirits, hindering godly thoughts, and speak against mind-biting spirits. Amen. 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 Application for show. Amen. Wanda Riri. Okay. Right. They always have I was having one today. This that before we started. Jesus. Woo. I binded him. You're an overcomer. I, I overcame, didn't I? Yes. yes. Look a minute. 
In the name of Jesus, yes. Woo. It was on your sister. <laughs> that mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> it was coming against. I got overcame, though. Woo. Yep. Okay, who turned these in? I'm sorry. That's okay. What should we do when we are going through trials? Don't be double-minded. If you think good thoughts, good things come. Put on and take on the whole armor of God so you can withstand in the evil times. It's up to you, us, and me to do it. We have to take God at his word and believe every bit of it. Amen. 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 Woo. Amen. Mm. Mm. Jesus. Yes, mm. Father. What should we do when we are going through trials? I said, um, similar to what Ann said, lift up, lift up our shield of faith and ask God for wisdom to show us what we need to do. Um, and then I just have to throw this in because it comes in. Thank you, Father God, for giving me your strength, courage, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and discernment to do what you said for for me to do this day. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 That's right. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let your will be done. Come on. Yes. Yes. Woo. And that's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> And that's it. And that's it. And that will be the end of lesson six. And we did make it for an hour. We okay. we made it happen, Captain. An hour. All right. So um, that's it. Um, so we will see you all beautiful souls next week. God spares life. Um, so we um yeah. Y'all pray for me. <laughs> Please, <laughs> as I pray for you. We got a good um, event coming up this week. That's my mom. Yeah, we just going to, y'all pray for me. Okay, we got a lot going on this weekend. Amen. Um, Yeah, just pray for all of us. We got a lot going on. We got a lot going on. All the saints. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. A lot going on. Emotions is high. Okay, at least, yeah, so the emotions is high. So, yeah, just pray for all of us, please. And thank you. Um, yeah, that's it for us. Um, we are always moving with purpose. Where, family? Oh, oh here. Yeah. Yeah. Bye.